All right, hey, what's up guys? We're over here in Santa Monica at the Colorado Center. And I don't think I can say the banks, I'm gonna blink this out or blink this out if I have to, but um, we're gonna be meeting with to talk about supporting our financial literacy program. Um, we're gonna try to do a digital program that can be accessed from anywhere. And so hopefully they want to support that and um, encourage that because I know a lot of people can't make it out to the classes, you know, for five weeks in a row. So we wanna put something together that can be accessed from anywhere. And so we're gonna talk to them today about um, supporting that. So we'll see how that goes and we'll let you know. Hey guys, I'm here with Darima, executive director doing her makeup. <laughs> Gosh. Wow. It's more fun to get you on uh, the real behind the scenes. You know, people want to know that you're not perfect, so. I'm always perfect. Uh, just kidding. So tell us about what you want to accomplish today. I want to get money. Just kidding. No, I just want to like get some strategic partners that can help us like expand our program and take it to places that um, are that it's not available. Everybody needs financial literacy, like. So we're excited. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> All right, hey, what's up guys? We just got done with the meeting. There's Darima. <laughs> um, so really cool meeting. Actually, we can't say who the bank is, so I'm gonna have to delete that out of the last post. What they really want is a off-the-shelf financial literacy program. And the really interesting thing they said, and I can't wait to announce this later um, about who the bank is, but they actually don't want us to focus on credit with high schoolers. I should say about all the programs I saw, about 40 to 60 percent was actually on credit. So it's an awesome that they don't want us to even talk about that with high schoolers, except that they need to worry about it later. Um, they want us to focus on saving and really building that good foundation so that long term they have really good uh, financial success. So really awesome and I can't wait. Um, they actually mentioned us bring it to, bringing it to 70 branches to do the training. So again, uh, I would love to announce this. I can't yet, but um, stay tuned because we will be doing this later and we're really excited to bring our financial literacy to Southern California. This is crazy. They have upside down cars. What's up guys? Today it is Wednesday and I'm on my way out right now to Ontario to the airport in to actually uh, market and do like a networking event for uh, one for my business, my financial planning business, but also for the event we're doing tomorrow, which is a uh, micro business technical assistance event teaching small businesses how to get government contracts and also how to um, get small business loans. Um, even if you're a newer business. So if that's something you're interested in, we can definitely help you out with that. Um, I just do some speaking for a nonprofit, teaching their program. So, uh, but on the way out to Ontario, should be interesting. I uh, looked at the pictures from last year. Who knows what it'll turn, turn out, you know. Um, a lot of times when you're out networking, you have no idea what the potential business can turn into, but you know, if you don't show up, you never know. So um, I'm also gonna show you hopefully a little bit later how I set up for a live event and some of the things that I think about. So um, how I capture people's info, you know, uh, what I want to have available. So if you're thinking about doing a live networking event, I'm going to show you what I do and hopefully you can take some key things away. All right. Talk to you guys later. All right, guys, what's up? So as you can see, uh, we're behind the scenes. We're getting set up. I want to show you a couple things that I do when I go to um, a live event just to maybe give you an idea if you're going to do a, like a live networking event. So check this out. So of course you have to have your business cards. You can get a flyer. Uh, flyers are always good. I made that one on uh, Fiverr for like 10 bucks, five bucks. I have a book, so I just put that out. But here's something really interesting a lot of people don't do. If you have an iPad, you can actually put, hook this up. So this is for uh, MailChimp. So this was for MailChimp, and you can hook this up and collect people's email addresses, names, phone numbers right here on the spot, and then it'll send them right to your MailChimp list, and it'll send them a free download of whatever you want to send them. So it's actually pretty cool. It's a free app. So if you have MailChimp, uh, definitely check that one out. Hey, what's up guys? Um, so it's about 11 o'clock. I just got done with uh, my follow-up for today. So as you saw earlier, we were over at the Ontario um, Airport Inn and uh, Inland Empire, and there was a networking event going on there. 
Um, most of it, honestly, was people that were doing like multi-level marketing. There were definitely a lot of banks, insurance companies, things like that. And there was like the Rotary Club. You know, there's a few good, you know, definitely some good um, people there as well. But some of the things I saw from some of the small business owners, which I found really interesting, is one, there's a huge need for social media marketing help. Um, you know, I know many of you guys that watch a lot of things on YouTube. You may have seen people like Ty Lopez's social media marketing agency thing, and it may become, have been a fad or whatever it is, but I'm still seeing a ton of need out there for it. Uh, specifically, if you're good with Facebook ads. You know, Facebook ads for small businesses, local businesses, it's still a huge need. Um, the other thing I saw was really social media management in the sense that some of the folks that have actually like pretty good sized businesses are doing well. You know, they want to grow though, but they just really don't want to deal with the social media aspect. They don't want to be posting all the time. They don't want to be engaging with their community. Um, that's something that's a huge opportunity. Um, if you're going to work for a big company, from what I've seen online, there's not a lot of pay for that. But, you know, when talking with some of these folks, you know, it seemed like it would easily pay 500 to 1000 a month to have somebody deal with it for them. You know, if you break that down and say you were going to spend, you know, 20 hours a month on it at $1,000, what's that, you know, 50 bucks an hour. Um, but maybe they think, you know, they'd rather not pay somebody full time to deal with that. And it's still a better deal for them. And you could, you know, have four or five companies that you do these things for and put together, you know, an income for yourself. Um, the key thing is, is, just getting out there and talking to people, you know, and actually know what you're talking about. First of all, I see a ton of people out trying to like sell social media marketing and um, they're just, they just really don't know what they're doing, but they can sell and they closed the deal and they got somebody to sign up because it's such a big pain point right now. But anyways, um, that was the biggest thing I saw, you know, at this conference. We were there to talk about our small business um, expo we're doing tomorrow. So one of the things I do for one of my side hustles is I do speaking for nonprofits. Um, I teach on financial literacy, uh, small business development. You know, I teach a lot of things about digital marketing. And so um, tomorrow I'm teaching it in San Diego. And it's really cool actually, you know, get to go down to San Diego, teach for, you know, three or four hours. But then the nonprofit I work with puts me up in a hotel down there and I get to bring my wife along. And we get to spend the night in San Diego and have the, the next day. So it's a really cool arrangement and it's just a way to get out of town. And it's not something that's consistent, but, you know, every quarter, you know, every few months, like there's an event going on and, you know, I get to participate for them. So, you know, if that's something you're looking to do and build like a speaking business, um, nonprofits really need people to teach on subjects. So, you know, what are you good at? You know, are you good at helping businesses grow? Are you good at... Um, financial literacy, are you good at all these different things? There's so many things that yeah, that are in need. Um, so it's just something to consider if you're looking for a side gig or a side hustle. Uh, but that'll be tomorrow, or actually after that speaking event, I'm gonna have a meeting with one of my friends who is good, a good friend, really good guy. And we're gonna meet and actually talk uh, with one of his close friends or someone he works with about looking to uh, find some sort of sales team, you know? Looking for to get a sales team to um, help with some social media marketing things that we're trying to do. And so, you know, the challenge when you have the resources is like actually um, getting the business, you know, that's, it's a really challenging thing for most people. But at the same time, like I said, I saw a huge need um, today out at the expo. You know, and if this was insurance agents with big companies, this was people that did like event marketing, um, there was a gentleman who he had a stem cell company, which is really interesting, and he wanted to reach more doctors. Well, if you don't know, you can go on Facebook and target specifically doctors, you know, um, or, or, you know, whatever type of medical professional you're looking to get in touch with. It's very powerful, you know, if you actually learn how to use Facebook ads uh, properly. So um, that's something I'm doing for my financial planning practice. And I'm bringing in, you know, at least one or two calls a week. And in the last week and a half, I spoke with um, one person that had 1.8 million, one that had 1.6, one that had 500K, and then actually signed up a client that I can't tell too much about since, you know, she's now a client, but she didn't have that much money. But it's definitely a contract worth, a, you know, a few thousand dollars for sure for planning services. Um, and that's all through Facebook automated, you know. And so that's something I'm really... Um, I've worked really hard on that the last few months to get this up and going and it's something really interesting to me because my whole vision is if you can have an automated funnel of some sort, funnels are great and they do a lot of the heavy lifting for you to educate your, your prospects, 
Um, they can learn about you. They can they can see how you you know how you speak, how you write. You know, depending on what type of funnel that you set up. And me, the webinar seemed to be the best fit for what I do because you know people get really confused about what financial planning really is, and so um, give me an opportunity to demonstrate that. So that's another that's a big project I'm working on. Um, but as for tomorrow, um, that's gonna be really exciting, and we'll try to get some video there to share a little bit um, what we're doing there behind the scenes. Um, if you have a small business and you're in California, you should definitely reach out. You know, we do these workshops and we do them for free. Um, you know, the nonprofit I work with is trying to charge a little bit of money, like 25 bucks, just to make sure that when people sign up, they actually, you know, attend both sessions, you know, and I think they're even going to give the money back to people if they attend both sessions. So technically they're free if that's the case, but you know, there's a lot of good info that are in here. The main thing we talk about is getting prepared for obtaining government contracts, small business loans, and how to grow your business using, you know, social media marketing and all the tools that are out there. And then we have specialized workshops on reducing taxes, um, retirement planning, and specifically how to set up everything social media um, that we do with one of our other consultants. So again, these are awesome workshops if anybody's interested in Southern California and, and, you, uh, and you're watching this. Um, but again, you know, we're going to bring you to that tomorrow and hopefully you guys enjoy what goes on behind the scenes there. Talk to you soon.